Hello, and welcome to VOD of Consciousness with Cientir. I am Cientir, and it is time for the final mission of Fairy 3 and Ogunus. We're already in fighting. Okay, so I need to go destroy targets. I don't I don't know that there's any... Uh, oh my goodness, how is this game so loud? Okay, um, I don't know that there's any... I mean, that guy just dropped an FFF, right? You all saw that? Let's get this mouse cursor off the screen. Um... Okay, well, I need to destroy a target, which I assume is this. So if you remember, I'm pretty sure this is the last episode. Uh, if you remember, this is uh, Fury, and we've been tasked here to wipe out the... Uh... Okay, you know what? We've got, we've got Vipers to spare. I mean, we've got Rapid Fire Lasers to spare, too. But, my point remains... Point remains. Vipers, everyone. We're going to use some vipers for a while. So, uh, our task is to wipe out the Bions. From, uh, from this planet. That they've kind of claimed, I guess. We have so much turbo. So much turbo, guys. Yeah, okay. Just just was, had one of those moments of, did I start the recording? And I'm like, yes, I did. It is going. It is recording. Blowing these guys up because they have like a 50-50 shot of dropping vipers, it seems, if not better. I feel like I'm returning slightly. I see your shield generator. Oh, I think that's might might be what these are. We might be over a shield that we're blowing up the generators to. Actually. I don't know. I'm speculating, guys. Draw distance. Help. Oh, did we blow the thing up? We might have just blown it up off screen. Whoops, I guess. I don't know if that... Can that be counted as a whoops? I don't think that can be counted as a whoops, actually. I accidentally defeated my target, but I didn't see it. Cool. Target destroyed. Maybe I just had flown far away from it? I don't know. I have so many vipers. Uh, I remember making a, a game way back in the day, heavily inspired by this one, except it was a top-down shmup, and uh, I wanted homing missiles in that one, and uh, just getting the code up and working for it was a bit interesting. A bit buggy, too, actually. Um, but I had to do stuff to try to make sure that, like... Because uh, what what you'll do for uh, for it is you're like okay where are all the enemies around me and then if you're not careful you send all of your enemies or all of your missiles at the same enemy instead of separating them if you have like multiples or whatever uh, because you naturally tend to order things in a list and it's like what are you gonna do to spread them out right uh, in particular I had like a um, split missile weapon where you'd fire it and it split into a bunch of different missiles. Um, that were homing and making sure that those all went after different targets and stuff was interesting. Man, there are so many friggin' vipers. Like, I have an unlimited supply of vipers here. And turbo. And rapid fire lasers, apparently. Apparently, I have completed my mission. But no mission is complete until you've picked up these turbo power-ups. Okay, let's fly to our jump zone here, eh? Man, there's just so many dudes. They're all, like, full of loot. It's crazy. 
Like, look how many turbos they drop you. You like picking up power-ups. This is the mission for you, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's our jump zone. Do I want to... You know what? Yeah, I want to just do that. Yeah, I just popped an FFF on a bunch of standard enemies, because that's what it's best at. I don't care. These guys can apparently drop them. And it was fun, and it got me a bunch of friggin' vipers, and I have almost a thousand vipers. I don't know how this ship is carrying a thousand vipers. Like, it's got over a thousand missiles on board, I know that much. Okay, what's next? Uh, we got a lot of air targets, folks. Mission two. Oh, man. Okay, so we got through the shields. We need to see our ship. Everybody knows that. Paramount, we see our ship. Okay, this is more of a traditional mission. Where we have uh, power-ups we can pick up. Um, looks like there's mostly just a lot of these. I think we need to blow some stuff up and go into a tunnel. At least that sounds about right. Oh, hey, look. Invinci invincibility. I am invincible. Wah -ah -ah. That's a, a James Bond reference. For those who are wondering... Fields, interesting. Those are cool looking ships. This game has some nice fighter design. I have so many rapid fire lasers, I'm not concerned about running out, like ever. Reminder that I am playing on uh, the easiest difficulty. I wasn't sure how hard the game would be. There have been a couple close calls, but... I look like an enemy spawner. Don't need that. Wait. Aha! That's what I'm looking for. Hmm. Uh, upside down. You know what? Sure. I probably underrate this thing. Huh. Okay. Or I don't underrate this thing. You know, either way. I'm not quite sure what situation you ideally... Yeah, there we go. There's a replacement. I was looking for mostly. Like other power ups, I don't really need. I have ridiculous quantities of everything. Oh, hey, look, weird mech things. Except I've got copious quantities of lasers. I mean, I still want to pop these when I see them because it's fun. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I don't need one of these guys going. Spewing dudes everywhere. Don't need two of them going, especially. Who are you? I don't know why. Like, as a kid, I never really got that that blue one, that, that blue world was, um... Uh, that the previous level was the energy shield for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that never registered to me that that's what it was, but for some reason it didn't.
I mean, it's just here, you know? Don't really need that. I see you down here. I see your invincibility. Got your invincibility. More loot things. Like, unnecessary quantities of turbo. After 10,000 turbos, I'm fast. Still. Forever. What is this, like, turbo trench run? This is ridiculous. Huh. Somebody was just like, you know what sounds like fun? Holding down the copy-paste button with bunkers full of turbo. Oh, now that's good. I will totally take a trench... Oh. I was gonna say I totally take a trench full of those, but... Here we are. It is not. Like, turbo is so, m like, meaningless at this point because I just have so much of it. If this feels kind of like, um, there's a giant supply depot, though. How is this not hitting the thing I'm aiming at? I don't know. I don't, still trying to find the use case for that thing. Like, it's cool, and I like it, but what's the use case for that? No? And you're like, ah, yes. The DC-20 or whatever. DC-14. That's what I want right now. That's what this moment's called, calling for. On the one hand, it's really cool the way that when you get laser ammo, it goes quad laser and it gives a value to the ammo, which I think is really useful. Good to think about, just from a design standpoint, actually. But on the other hand, it has this uh, unfortunate side effect of making it kind of pointless to use other stuff to some extent, just because it's so good. And it gives you so much of it. I don't know. I mean, now I'm just spamming vipers because I have them. Okay, I don't need to keep shooting those guys down. Ah, uh, looks like there might be stuff over this way or something. Um, maybe just at the end of this. Yeah. I'll take that loot. That's useful loot. Well, that was a little bit more durable than I was expecting it to be. What are these, like, little bobbing heads? Oh, my mission objective is to enter this tunnel. Well, folks, it's time to go spelunkin'. Something like that. But not before going all the way down here for some more vipers. Okay, there is actually something at the end of this. Man, I would really like to see a remake of this with real draw distances and stuff. That would be sweet. Cause, like, I don't know if you've noticed, but this game has very small draw distances. Very short draw di uh, distances indeed. Okay, let's go into this tunnel, shall we? Uh, there it is. More of them servo kinetic lasers that I like to use in tunnels. I have a lot. 
I always found it kind of interesting that they didn't give you as much servo kinetic lasers as they gave you rapid fire lasers. I don't quite know why that is. Like, theoretically, as a, quote, worse weapon, unquote, it would be one to give you more of, but... I don't know. It's just like rapid fire lasers are this game's shotgun, right? Where, and maybe servo kinetic lasers actually hit harder than rapid fire lasers. And I don't know. It's hard to say. But I don't know why we needed to go through that tunnel. I admit total ignorance on the matter. Okay. Flying across nowhere. Some stuff up here, but it's probably just, yeah, I like those sorts of things. Okay, you know what? I think it's time to just, just leave. Just go on to the next one. We'll blow up this whole planet anyway. It was a cool outro. Wow, what a bland sky. Obviously, this world has lots of pollution problems. Uh, got a bunch of the... Wow, there's a lot more tunnels that we didn't find. Oh, goodness, it's nighttime now, or something. Um, oh, okay. The clouds are gone. Okay, well, let's just... Let's go over here, see what's up. Alright, looks like we're doing some more of this. Which is fine. I mean, that's basically what the game is. Fly to destination, blow up stuff in the destination, take out some number of enemies that are in... Ooh, this is all red and glowy. Collect some quantity of vipers. I have over a thousand vipers, everyone. And over 10,000 turbo. Which will be useful for getting back home. I, I, don't, I don't think that's the case. I don't think you use turbo for interstellar travel. It doesn't go anywhere near fast enough. I don't know. How much do you guys like people exploring in games like this when it's completely unnecessary? This is completely unnecessary. Completely. Now I'm just going, like, way off, off track here. I don't care. Okay, the use case for this is when you just got enemies everywhere and you just need to spray ammunition everywhere. When you have a specific target that you're aiming at, it's less good. Hey, look. More vipers. I'll take that shield boost. Thank you. I should probably go back to that original target that I was being sent at, shouldn't I? Yeah, DC-14 is kind of like an anti-groups of enemies type weapon. Oh, hey, look, we we're supposed to go this way anyway. Only I went there already. So, yeah. Yep, best way to blow up enemies. Flying straight into them. Hmm, open these up in case they contain an FFF. I've decided on a strategy. That strategy is fly up really high and just shoot vipers down until everything's blown up. Or I'm out of vipers, but that doesn't seem like a realistic possibility. I need to go destroy another target. Let's 
It's over this way. Hey, more of that dispersion cannon. Ow. Okay, hey, can we clear up this area, please? Yeah, I just burnt an FFF. I'm, I'm feeling like that's the situation I was made for. Actually, there's, there's two reasons to use an FFF. The other one is that it fully restores your shields, so it's kind of an emergency shield pack. So I would like another one before the final boss, but... Well, I mean, there we go. Justified completely in my use of the thing. Okay, honestly, I like turbo. I don't need more turbo. I'm not going to bother picking up all of that turbo. It's just not worth my time at this point. Oh. Uh, I need to blow up this. Okay, now I need to enter tunnel. It's probably the one that I was seeing back this way. Or, hey, there's more stuff over here. Man, if I had an invincibility, I would just hold down the turbo button and not have to worry about anything in here. More rapid fire lasers, as if I don't have enough of those. I mean, I don't. They, they need to put something in here, right? Again, dead on missiles are another one that I haven't figured out the purpose for. Rapid fire lasers just feel better. Like, they're more effective. Mission goal ahead. Is there... Yes, there are. Are things we need to blow up. Uh, okay. Obviously, I'm upside down. Don't think I care about that. Uh, sure, I'll take a shield restore. Um, I remember as a kid wanting to, like, just drop... Uh, I'm going to use some of my Bion Fury missiles on this guy. Wanting to just drop uh, FFFs on these guys, but they have the shields that you have to destroy before you can damage them, so it was kind of pointless. Guardian destroyed. Need to go enter a tunnel. Put on my DC-14 for no reason. Another weapon you can outrun. with turbo. Actually kind of fun. I like outrunning my weapons with turbo. I would like to see a, f a remake of this game, to be honest. Like, there's probably not a whole lot of reason to. It's such a cool game. I like it. There's really no need that I can think of for power-ups at this point. Wow. Okay, what am I going to use those on? Is there one more enemy out here? Uh, okay, I guess I can fly to the jump zone. Hey, let's, uh, let's do something fun. Let's uh, switch to the full cockpit view for this last little bit here. I, because I imagine we've got to be close to being done. Let's up some functionality in a way that I'm not used to. But your lasers look so cool coming out from around you. I want to show that off.
Okay, I suspect this is going to be it, guys. And blow some of my payloads of stuff. I don't think this is any more accurate. All right, let's let's go ahead and call this uh, call this to a close, eh? Shall we? Found forty percent of the tunnels. Destroyed a bunch of targets. Here we are, everyone. Yeah, victory. You have saved the coalition. Thanks, Yentir. You're welcome, game. Ooh, we get a victory cutscene in credits. Mark Randall, concept design and programming. Brett Combs, biz and resident psychologist, which is interesting. There's, there's something going on there that's probably pretty amusing. Kyle Richards, music and sound effects. I like a lot of those. Original artwork and animations created by... Drew Hayworth, Brad Heitmeyer, Mark Humphrey, Ray Rodriguez, and Terry Simmons. I have no idea if I pronounced all of those names correctly, but here we are. We have returned to the Coalition area. Cinematics created by Carl Haygood, 3D modeling, animations, and rendering, Terry Simmons, game ship design. Mark Humphrey, visual effects, Kyle Richards, music and sound effects. Joseph Selinski, Aether Simmons, creative coordination and level design. It's like they're just playing the opening cutscene in reverse, but not quite. Special thanks to all of our families and friends who supported all of us during the creation of this project. Microsoft Fury 3, copyright 1995, Microsoft Corporation, and Terminal Reality Incorporated. I bet Microsoft still owns the IP. It could make a sequel. Please enter your words of wisdom. Ooh, what should my words of wisdom be, everyone? I know. Support me on Patreon. At Patreon. Oh, I'm out of space. Okay, support me at patreon.com slash... Uh, patreon.com slash cntier. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's my words of wisdom. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of high scores because as it turns out every time I stopped the recording session, uh, it would make a high score. So... Well, here we are, everyone. You can support me at patreon.com slash cntier. And thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this Let's Play of Microsoft Fury 3. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>